Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Big game breakdowns continue. What do we have? Mm, some little game called the Iron Bowl. Alabama, Auburn. Look headline over the summer had Alabama minus seven. Auburn's been better than expected. Look at the current line. Alabama minus four and a half, 47 and a half the total uh, for the Iron Bowl. Nick Saban, three and one straight up, two and two against the spread against Gus Malzahn in head to heads. Last year, Alabama minus 20 and a half home favorites. They won by 18, did not get the money. And look, you know, uh, when you think about Auburn and what they want to do and what they were able to do against Georgia, you know, they were able to create big plays. When you're facing elite defense, you're not grinding out first downs. You're not going to hold the ball looking for someone downfield in the pocket. You got to make plays. What did they do? Well, Jared Stidham, touchdown pass of 55 yards, another one of 42 yards against Georgia for the season. Auburn's all about the big plays. They have 13 touchdowns on plays of 40 yards or more, number one in the nation. And you tell me, how can you beat Alabama? You can beat Alabama with big plays. You're not going to grind out these long drives, 14 play drives down the field. If you hit a quick strike, huh? I seem to remember a Clemson team hitting a couple of those in the fourth quarter against the Crimson Tide last year. And I certainly wouldn't be shocked to see an Auburn team that You know, I remember back to the Clemson game where they couldn't move the football in that contest. Shut down. I think the Tigers' offense has developed a lot since that happened. And against against an elite defense, you know, we saw what they could do against Georgia. The potential is there. Not going to say it's going to happen, but the potential is there for an offensive explosion against the Alabama Crimson Tide, especially with the injuries at linebacker that Alabama has. Not one, not two. They've got some cluster injury problems at the linebacker positions. But this is the type of game that Alabama's probably got to attack on offense. You know, and normally they rely on their defense. They rely on their fundamentals. They win grinders. We think Auburn's going to make some big plays. Jalen Hurts is capable of making some big plays in this one as well. They don't always call on Hurts to make a lot of big plays. That's not the nature of what Alabama's been designed to do. They call on him to take care of the football. And when you look at the stats, man, it's impressive. You know, 581 snaps, 201 passes, 119 runs. He had one turnover and all of that. An interception against Arkansas. Nick Saban, quote, the first thing we talk about in any game we play is the ball, the ball, the ball. That's something we really emphasize with our team. And it's something that Jalen, very conscious of and done a good job of, a good job of. I worry uh, about this Alabama offense, even with Hertz's inability or uh, hurts his success at avoiding big mistakes. You know, I uh, talked earlier in the show about the games where Ohio State was less than minus 17 when the market said, all right, this game is marginally competitive and the Buckeyes didn't sniff a point spread cover in either of these contests. Well, uh, Alabama this year at less than minus 20, you know, they've been minus 20 or higher in all games except for Florida State, 24-7 of the opener. There's no more, uh, except for Florida, maybe. <laughs> There's no more disappointing team in the country than Florida State this season. And Bama didn't dominate that game. They didn't blow them out, you know. Uh, they were my, less than minus 20 against uh, Mississippi State on the road. They won that game 31-24. to Never sniffed a cover in that contest. They didn't cover on the road at Texas A&M. They were minus 26. They won by eight. Their only road cover all year came back in September at Vandy, that game where they won 55 to nothing, 59 to nothing. And everyone was saying, whoa, my God, Alabama, best team ever, you know. Uh, Auburn has held Clemson, LSU, and Georgia to a combined 305 rushing yards. I think the Tigers are live in this one. If I'm playing the total, I'm looking at the over, not the under. Auburn going to have to score to beat Alabama or to hang tough with Alabama. I do think the underdog correlates with over. In this one, if you like the one, maybe you put the two of them together and see if you can maximize your return on investment. We will be back on Friday. No sports bit. Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Enjoy the holiday. Get some turkey. Watch some football. Make sure to come back. Tune in right here on SportsBit. SportsBookReview.com. SBR odds. SBR picks. We'll be back Friday morning.
Enjoy the holiday and good luck. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.